Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Ike. I'm back here with another episode of Purified Hustle. And on today's episode, I'm going to be continuing the Communications for the Nation series. Uh, here I got a little YouTube video from that man, Julian himself. Julian himself is an amazing public speaker. He's like a life coach, helps people in really all different realms of life learn how to express themselves better, learn how to heal their heal that child that was wounded or something like that. He really just helps people learn how to actualize their full potential in a super amazing, magical kind of way. So here I'm gonna play a little clip from him and then I'm gonna give you guys my two cents. I might have to skip through a little, but uh, I really just want you guys to get the overall gist of what's going on here. Um, I'll probably start to narrow in on more specific parts from him and different coaches similar to him, like just different other coaches that I really have learned a lot from and, and am still learning and practicing from. And this guy is one of them, Julian himself. Your time, I gotta go out of my room? Like I was that awkward kid. And you'd just be like, Ugh. oh, it's dinner time. I got to go out of my room. Like, I was that awkward kid. And you'd just be like, Ugh. like, it was terrible. But I could express myself through playing the guitar. So I couldn't verbally, but I could do it through music. And that's also what just had such an appeal. And I didn't have many friends. I still had a few, right? The friend I did music with. But if you logically just looked at the situation, you would have probably told me, yeah, maybe it's time to grow up and be more realistic. That was cute when you were younger, it's no longer cute anymore. Now, fortunately though, my grandmother never said that to me. She was actually one of the only people in my family who always supported it. She's a little out there. We've been on good terms and bad terms. But growing up when I was young, we were on very good terms. And she kept saying, oh, you're so talented. Yes, you can do it, yes, and would always encourage any goal. And she would do that with all of us, like all the grandkids, whatever the goals was, she was just always about it. She never said, what? Like even drawing. I remember I would um, draw, and I was pretty good at drawing, but I would draw a little, uh, I don't know, a little character on a napkin at a restaurant, right around the placemat, like as a kid. And she would literally say, put the date under that and sign it. And I'll keep it for when you're famous. And literally rip off the little thing. And guess what? She still has them. No joke, she gave them to me uh, a few months ago. She's like, here's this box with these things. There were some of those little things she kept. Now, just think externally the impact that it has. It's like someone believing in you. And for a lot of people, that's also what's missing. It's like, who in your life truly believes in you? Bless you. Right? Gesundheit. Um, right? And sometimes that's all it takes. It's a cheesy saying, but you can write this down. Sometimes all it takes is just one person to believe in you. Because oftentimes, it's just you with yourself, and that's already hard enough to believe in you. And you look around, and everyone's looking down. They might have this preconceived image of who you are. They're like, yeah, it's just not you. But say someone's like, yes, I you got this. And you're like, they see some of that in me? They see some greatness in me? And maybe times where you don't even see it in yourself, that can make a huge difference. So for all of you here, when it comes to the way you live life, or your purpose, or your dreams, what would you dream if you could dream big? What would that look like? Now, does that mean you're gonna make it? Not necessarily. But, and I would write this down too, I would rather fail than wonder. That's kind of my motto. For me from Switzerland, I quit university. So I was going to university, business, HEC, Lausanne. And uh, I quit and I moved to LA to pursue music. That's why I originally moved to LA. Now, from my parents' perspective, they want to keep me safe. They love me, but say I'm your kid and I come up to you and I'm like, hey, so I'm quitting university and I'm moving to LA to do some music. Just that little part itself, I mean, was pretty powerful for me. Um, growing up, my parents were a little bit on both ends of the scale. I mean, primarily they would really just believe in schooling and different and like just like the standard way of uh, making it so I totally understand how a lot of people can feel like swayed to not necessarily do what it is that's in their hearts because obviously 
um, that might not necessarily seem like the most stable thing to do on the surface or I mean maybe it's not even really actually possible for you to do so you know you feel that your parents are telling you to just focus on you know the school and stuff it like it does actually have some real bearing because it is true for a lot of cases but overall like what he's trying to get you to do is still just learn how to express yourself and be uh, who you are. I mean, there's still a lot of like passions that you could still pursue, whether you are doing something that's stable. And a lot of it has to do with you just fully actually believing in yourself so that you could uh, believe in yourself enough to still take steps to practice and do things that could get you to the next level. I mean, you. You might not be the LeBron in it, but still being very proficient, being very high level in it can still, you know, be something that does fulfill you and does actually help you moving forward, help you build your character, help you build your confidence, etc. So, hey, man, with that being said, y'all, keep on dreaming big. This is Ike Ude with another episode of Purified Hustle. I'm going to be just dropping little... Uh, drops in the bucket of little gems like this and i hope you guys tune in hope you guys have a great rest of your day peace